no company can afford not to move forward. It may be at the top of the heap today, but at the bottom of the heap tomorrow if it doesn't. This was said by founder of JCPenney, James Cash Penny. It takes, it takes a certain kind of person to be adapted, to have an adapted mindset, to be looking forward uh, for the benefit of the organization. And Pete Kachuk, uh, a leader of a nonprofit organization, did exactly that. He transformed a large church to be um, sustainable, to have a sustainable vision, and to be thriving. This church was losing as many people as it was gaining, uh, had no sense of a need for adapting to the needs of the people and community, and just didn't see a need for change. Pete changed that. In this video, I'll be talking about how Pete's leadership allowed for him not only to improve the church, but to build it up to be self-sufficient. After interviewing him, I clearly saw characteristics of a transformational leader, and I didn't share any of that with him. So it was just true, genuine characteristics of a transformational leader. And it was because of this leadership that he was able to see the problem, inspire others, cast vision, and empower people, which all ultimately allowed for positive change within the organization. From the interview, I could tell that he was creative and innovative. Innovative. He looks for problems, he asks questions, and he sees these issues that no one else sees. And he wants to change the status quo. In his mind, there's always something to improve. And in this situation, the church was stagnant. It wasn't growing, no movement forward, and involvement in the community. And once again, there's just they didn't see the need or, or importance of adapting. So he saw this problem within the organization and needed the, he needed to communicate the problem to others, to make them believe, which leads to the fact that Pete is a great storyteller. He just has a way of inspiring people through stories, situations, past experiences, and he communicates it all in a captivating way that people listen and they want to do something about it. Um, and in general, his communication skills are, are amazing. He just cr connects with a wide range of personalities, really is really other oriented and knows how to connect with certain kinds of people. And in the situation with the church, he, through storytelling, he created a sense of urgency and need. He inspired people to that there could be better and that they could do better. And he explained and showed what could be. The next step is to cast vision. Pete is an amazing visionary. Combined with great storytelling and his communication skills, he has a way of making people believe in him and adopt his visions. And he just creates great vision statements. Um, he really knows how to create something that's uh, achievable, but um, can't be outgrown. For this church, he created something specific to the church, was achievable, but not too specific where the growth would outgrow the vision. It, it doesn't have an expiration date. It's something that people can always uh, work towards. And this vision, it energized people. And it was really interesting to see people just super um, excited to, to do something about uh, the problem. And uh, he just created meaning and purpose for people. And it's interesting because members that were on the brink of leaving actually stayed and are commit, committed members of the church now. Uh, he just gave them a reason to and purpose to, to stay. And uh, once the vision was cast, people on, were on board and believed in his vision. The next step for him was to delegate and build people up. Empowerment is super important for Pete. His ultimate goal is to create organizations that function without him. So of course he can move on to the next problem. And that was exactly the case with this church. He feels very proud and accomplished that the youth branch where he initially started working is now functioning well uh, without him. He's, he doesn't uh, participate in the uh, management of the youth branch whatsoever and they're doing great and that's just how Pete likes it. And unlike charismatic leaders that take the charisma and momentum with them when they leave, that wasn't the case with Pete and the youth branch. He created lasting change. He built up leaders that took over 
that are now transform transformational leaders themselves, whose goal is to build up even more transformational leaders. And in conclusion, it's Pete's transformative leadership that transformed the church from the inside out, starting with changing the minds of the people within and ultimately changing the culture of the organization overall. It's just like James C. Penney said, no company can afford to move forward. And Pete also can't not move forward. He is a true transformational leader. Thank you.